When you no longer have to focus on what the next change will be, you focus on how to express yourself within it, how to exploit it emotionally. For such reasons, an appreciation of Wabi is an affirmation of the world and a certain sort of refusal of its transformation for delectation. Wabi as an aesthetic is a connection to the world and its imperfection, a way of seeing imperfection as itself embodying beauty. Sabi is a quality of stillness and solitude, a melancholy that is one of the basic human responses to and sources of beauty. Loneliness arouses a yearning for companionship, but it is also something that can be relaxed into or perversely continued in the face of opportunity for its relief. Thus, wabi-sabi is an aesthetic of poverty and loneliness, imperfection and austerity, affirmation and melancholy. Wabi-sabi is the beauty of the withered, weathered, tarnished, scarred, intimate, coarse, earthly, evanescent, tentative, ephemeral. As Leonard Corrin says, the closer things get to non-existence, the more exquisite and evocative they become. Wabi-sabi is a broken earthenware cup, in contrast to a Ming vase, a branch of autumn leaves in contrast to a dozen roses, a lined and bent old woman in contrast to a model, a mature love as opposed to an infatuation, a bare wall with peeling paint in contrast to a wall hung with beautiful paintings. 